Okay, how we doing? Hey, good, man. Good to see you. You're a mere shadow of your former self. All right, how we doing, guys? Good. All right, first of all, uh, thanks for coming today. And uh, can we shut those doors, Tom, if you don't mind? We won't be distracting. Thanks for coming today. And yesterday was obviously a, a tough day for the company. There's no, no way around that. Um, but as I told our senior management team on the phone, this was, and this was last night, Monday night, I was telling them this, was a, this is a great company. It was Sunday night, it was last night, and it will be tonight, and it will be going forward. We were obviously shocked uh, by the events of yesterday. I think you all, all have known us for a long time, and Pilot Value, Pilot Flying J Value number one is do the right thing all the time, and we steadfastly believe we have done that. And we'll, of course, cooperate with the appropriate law officials 100% and feel fully confident that things will work out well for Pilot Flying J during the investigation. And I'll be glad to take any and all questions. Who wants to go first? Jeff, what is the new? I mean, I think there was a statement application of rebates to a small group of customers. It, it appears to be centered on it. Remember, we don't know a lot, okay? So let me just state that, and you'll probably get tired of me hearing me say that today. It appears to be centered on a very insignificant number of customers and the application of rebates. You say application of rebates? Please. That the rebates that were owed to the customers were not paid. And we, of course, disagree with that. Do you know how much money we're talking about? I do not. We do not. Criminal investigation, or uh, it is criminal investigation. Yes. Is this pilot flying J trucking? Is there a different entity? No, it is the big company, if you will. It is Pilot Flying J, the truck stop company. It is not Pilot Corp, the C store company around here, the 40 C stores we own, and it does not look like it involves SFJ, which is our Canadian operation. So it's centered on Pilot Flying J and the 480 truck stops we have across the country. Yeah, and I remember I'm not involved in that kind of detail in the business, but l let's say we have Halloran Hill Trucking, and we go call on Halloran and we say, if you'll buy 50,000 gallons a month, we will give you, agree to give you X amount of rebate, and if you buy 100,000, you might get Y amount of rebate. Now, there's a lot of different formulas, but that's one way in which it might work. Is this related to all the FTC ruling on the flying jet purchase? Or we would not think so. Does Pilot Flying J have any uh, connection to Service Provider Group? Have they ever done business with them before? Service Provider Group? Yeah, it's a, another business here uh, that also underwent a raid back in February. I've never heard of them. So as far as you know, the company hasn't done any business with them? Well, I've never heard of them, so that's all I can say. Talk about back to the rebates. Can you talk about um, who, who would be the ones out? Well, we have 23 sales sales members spread throughout the country who are calling on trucking companies every day. We have 3,300 trucking companies we do business with uh, every day, and the numbers, fortunately, is going up every day. And and I'll say this: the support we have gotten from our trucking company customers has been uh, candidly overwhelming. You always wonder about something that, like this and the reputational hit uh, that you might take, because if you're a trucking company, you might take a step back. But we have reached out to almost every trucking company. Many of them called us last night and show us support and feel very good about our ongoing relationships with the trucking companies. And I think one of the reasons that PFJ has been able to grow to the size it is, is we have outstanding relationships with trucking companies, whether it's Swift with 15,000 trucks or Hal Hill Trucking with nine trucks. And, and we do business with lots of small and lots of large trucking companies. Could you talk a little bit about uh, what effect this had on your operations? Like, have you had any kind of concern from suppliers? We have had, uh, any time anything happens like this, suppliers get concerned because they're worried about what? They're worried about they're going to get paid. Yeah. And um, 
All our stores, we, we have not had any stores close. Okay, all our stores were open. Everybody reported for duty at normal here at seven or eight o'clock, whatever time they come in. So it's been business as usual. I think we might have had one run out of fuel uh, up in Minneapolis. Whether that was related to this situation or occasionally we just run out of fuel, I can't say. But for the most part, our suppliers are working well with us. By the time this news got out yesterday, it was late in the day and people were closed for business. But our supply team did an outstanding job last night. I came in this morning about 5.30, immediately went to the S&D floor and all 500 properties had fuel, which is what you worry about first and foremost, because our job is to take care of those trucking company customers and if we don't have diesel, we're not taking care of them. Were you told before they came? Absolutely not, Al. What did they tell you about coming back in? When they, when they got done, did they tell you, now you can go back to business as usual? Yes, yes. I, um, I left the building here about two yesterday and um, went home and we had a representative here representing the company and they, they allowed, it was very professional, they allowed all our people who needed to be in the building to run the business. So if you dispatched trucks to, to pull gasoline and diesel, you stayed in the building. If you were in charge of maintenance, you stayed in the building. If you had ran our call center where general managers call in with questions, you stayed in the building. All essential personnel stayed in the building, which candidly we're very thankful for because otherwise the stores wouldn't be able to stay open. They allowed us to come. I came in back in about 11 last night, got some stuff, and uh, they said they would be done sometime in the next couple, three hours. And I was here bright and early this morning. It was, like I said, it was business as usual. And our people have done a great job of rallying, hanging tough, doing their job. What did they say? I don't really know. I don't really know. So you couldn't talk about the park because they were focused on it or anything? Not really. You mentioned it was, uh, it appears to be centered on a significant number of customers. What exactly do you mean by that? In the total scheme of things for Pilot Flying J, we would say it's extremely low percentage. Can you give us an idea? I don't, I don't know that exact amount. I don't want to quote something and be wrong. We're still looking, but we believe it to be a low number. Let me just say that. Can you confirm the number of search warrants that were um, issued and executed? I don't know if there was. I know there. I think there were two, but I may be wrong. There could have been ones for different buildings. There was some confusion today. They didn't have a search warrant for one of the second buildings. They got it last night late, and I think it came out on the news today that there was another one, but I think that's incorrect, and I think we issued a statement telling everybody that. The former CEO, Compton, is, what's his status with the company at this point? Uh, John's an advisor. Um, had lunch with him a week ago Monday. And we talked about both the Cleveland Browns and Pilot Flying J, and he was a tremendous help. I just spoke with him a little bit ago. Were his, were his materials searched? Or no, you know, or? no. You know that we have to the IRS was involved. Can you talk about that, how they're involved? Um, that's a good question, and that was what I asked. Why is the IRS involved? It does not involve, as best we can tell, let me say that, and I'm pretty sure we're right, any kind of tax issues. So there's no evasion of state or federal taxes, which candidly is what your suppliers, particularly fuel suppliers, worry about. And we had to, you know, go through the communication process with our suppliers. So I'm not really sure why they're involved. We do not think it involves any kind of tax implications. Actually feel very confident that it does not. Who was subpoenaed? Yeah, and I don't know exactly who. Several of our salespeople were subpoenaed, but I don't want to tell you which ones because I'm not exactly sure. Were you subpoenaed? Uh, no. Do you know why the IRS and the FBI are working together for this investigation? I have no idea. This is very new to me, okay? <laughs> CBC Capital, is it involved at all in this? Well, CBC Capital is, is one of the owners of our business, so they're a stockholder of the business. So, we'll in, that, in that regard, the company? Yes. Can you talk, uh, talk about the internal investigation? Of well, we, you know, we're, as you guys know, we're on a tight ship here, and so we immediately have begun our internal investigation. Now, here again, it was just 24 hours that they came in and so you it's like getting knocked down you got to get back up and then you got to right yourself and our primary concern was first of all our people and reassuring them everything's okay because you can imagine the rumors that go around then our second concern was our customers and the best way we take care of our customers is make sure we have fuel in the ground and our stores are stocked and we got people to run the stores so we have been focused solely on that uh, we have begun the internal audit and in typical file at flying J fashion it will be very quick and very thorough other questions? Has the rebate issue been raised before? Is this something that's never happened been before? Been never happened before. Is there one more question? He's got to uh, leave. News Channel 5 Cleveland, Mr. Haslam. 
Um, it's good to be here. Thanks. Good to have you here. And, uh, um, better weather, right? <laughs> much better weather. Much better weather. Uh, what would you say to uh, Cleveland Browns fans, everybody in Cleveland who's very concerned sure. at this moment about this ongoing investigation? Yeah, well, first of all, I, I apologize because the last thing we ever want to do is put any kind of blemish on the city of Cleveland, which we've grown to love, or the Browns. So I personally feel bad about that, even though I don't think we've done anything wrong. Okay. Uh, and second of all, it's business as usual. Um, you know, I've talked to Joe, I've talked to Alec, I've either talked to or text to Mike and Chud, and they're, they're obviously, is everything okay? And I said, hey, we're great. We'll manage things down here. You guys, you know, it's the first week can really practice on the field, so let's focus on that. And we got the draft coming up, let's focus on that. And we'll be going up there, I believe, Thursday and Friday to just as planned to participate in draft preparation. And we'll be up there almost all of next week. And as you know, and everybody in Cleveland knows, the draft starts Thursday night. So we'll look forward to that. How long could this take? We have no idea. No idea. And we're prepared for it to take a long time. But you've got to manage this. And then this is a large business, as you all know, that we've got to run. And, you know, a few people in our organization will be involved with this investigation. But, you know, we've got 21,000 plus employees and they're going to be focused on, as we say around here, you either take care of the customer or you take care of someone who does. And that's what everybody's doing. And I think when you came in the building today, it felt pretty much like normal. Is that fair? I mean, everybody showed up on time. Everybody's worked hard and it's a normal day here. And that was the expectation. Our people came through like they always have always do. There have been no arrests yet at this point? As far no. As Thank no. you all very much. Thank you Thank for coming. You. Hey guys, thanks a lot. Thanks Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Yeah, good to see y'all.